back to another video. So here I have my April paycheck bill tracker for my second paycheck. I hope this is in frame. Yep, it is. And I'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes. So, um, as you saw in the last video that I actually paid already my... Don't rip, don't rip. I already paid uh, my Target and Walmart, so that was already taken care of with my taxes. So, and then now I have my second paycheck. So I did do a side hustle of what well, I budgeted for a hundred. I thought I was gonna be making around a hundred, but for the month of April, which April is not over yet, we still have a few more days. Um, I actually did $230 in side hustle. That wasn't bad at all. That I'll share with you because that's something that I do on the side. Um, so we're actually going to be doing... Let me get my pen together. We're actually going to be doing my cable. So cable was $71. Um, this time I'm gonna put the 25 cents because that's what it calls for. So this one here was paid in full. I'm just gonna put um, here, paid, AT&T. My actual bill, um, which last, <clears throat> let me go back. Um, I budgeted $95, right? And my bill was only, 114 this month um they had to give me a credit i've been having issues with at&t um yeah so it was 114 so i actually budgeted the rest so i actually paid this in full um capital one i just did the extra 40 dollars because that's how much was the um the minimum payment so this one here I paid the minimum payment because remember my capital one is my highest credit card so I'm actually doing this the debt snowball which you do from least to greatest um, and then my slate my slate was um, my slate I paid 40 and that one also was 40 because the minimum payment on there is $80. Yes, it's pretty high. Um, which, wait, nope, hold on. Sorry, made a boo-boo. Um, Capital One is actually a little bit more. Capital One is, I'm gonna put, it's actually 150 for that one. So that's why this one is 75. I'm gonna wait till that dry. And then my student loan, I just made another, it's um, $50, well, it's $50 um, minimum payment, so $25 from the last time, and then $25 for this time, so I paid that, so it was $50 a month. Um, Apple Music, that automatically, that's paid for already. Um, with the first paycheck target target is 27 and I pay that as well with my second paycheck um, this I'm gonna leave like that because it was already paid for and then this one I budgeted 75 so 75 75 is 150 that was paid for the month of April right so you notice how this is longer than this one and I'm so happy I got rid of all this so now my main focus for the month of May is to start targeting my target card which I did a boo-boo I went to Target and I bought some stuff I bought some jeans um, that I saw that was on sale and that's probably what gets half of us is when things are on sale you'd be like oh we just buy it we need it um, so I bought some jeans from Target, um, yeah, so 
it went up a little bit more so you'll see that in my next paycheck bill tracker and then I want to start targeting my capital one and my slate and that's gonna be um, that's gonna be a challenge but I think I can do it so my side hustle um, it's actually gonna go into my slate which is the 230 it's gonna actually go into slate and slate is gonna come down a little bit more uh, which that would be a good thing um, or I might divide it into these three, Capital One, Slate, and Student Loan. I don't know. I'm Like I said, I'm still new to this. I'm just trying to figure out which would be the best way for me to take this 230 and um, either divide it or I should throw it in one of the um, the lowest slate just to try to knock it out faster. Um, so, yeah. So, that's my bills for this is the ending of my of April. On my second paycheck so we're gonna go to envelopes so the envelopes I did groceries and let's see what we got left for groceries I got all these receipts I don't even know why I put these receipts in here right and then I have a whole bunch of change that I'm probably not even gonna count but as you can see I have change and I have $25 extra so I'm gonna put the change and the little change bin that I showed y'all last time. Right. So I still have 25 from groceries. Now I'm trying to think if I should take the 25. Um, actually, I gotta get my cash. I couldn't get the cash, which I have it right here. Okay, much better. So, with these $25, um, I'm going to put to the side and I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with them. So, they're going to sit right there. So, I had $25 extra from groceries. And the thing is, with groceries, I don't go full shopping the way I should be going full shopping. I should be actually full shop a week and full shop another week or i should just full shop for two weeks um it's just the meat over here they be expensive in this supermarket i i just don't get it um but we're gonna stuff our envelope right one two three four five a hundred a hundred and fifty and there you go we're stuffing our envelope for groceries 150 and so far, I've been doing pretty good with these um, cash envelopes, to be honest with you. I've been doing really, really good. And I'm proud of myself because I used to just swipe my card. I'll go to the supermarket. Don't forget, I still have a habit of when I go to the supermarket to buy something, I usually come out with like 50 other things. I don't know if anybody else can relate, but I do that. And that has to stop because then that's why it comes down to 25 because you go for one thing you come back with ice cream chips and all this extra stuff that you probably didn't need because you're going to eat it in one day anyway so it's not going to last you two weeks but okay so spending spending is going to get 10 let's see how much we have in spending Ooh. we have some money in spending we have six dollars and some change the change goes into my little bin here and now I have to make a laundry um, cash envelope because the cash envelope for laundry is that in the summer um, I don't wash clothes in my house I wash it in the laundromat because when you wash clothes in this house um, I don't have a dryer because we're not allowed to have dryers but um, the clothes smell funny so I now gotta make a envelope of laundry for laundry so I think I'm just going to leave this here with this. So now I have $16 in spending. Sorry, I was off topic. Well, not really off topic, but. Right, so I have that. Then we have beauty. I want to do my eyebrows. So that's why I only have um, 10, 11, 12, $12 here. But I'm going to leave the $12 and I'm going to. Place my 10 in this envelope. So now I have 
and beauty. And maybe next time I won't have to add in here because I don't do my eyebrows that often. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't do my eyebrows as often as I should. Pet is 20. And let's see what we got in pet. Pet, we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29. So now we have 49, which I'm going to leave that in there because he's due for some vaccines. So I'm just going to leave that in there until I get the total of what I'm going to pay for this vet bill. So I'm going to leave that in there. And then fun is $10. Let's see what we have for fun. So fun, we have this here, which is seven and some change, right? So I went and I took my kids. Well, we were supposed to go to the Museum of Illusions, but we didn't get to go because the line was like 50 blocks long i'm exaggerating but it was like 50 blocks long and my daughter had allergies so we were not going to be standing on that line her sneezing all that time so we went to go eat and we went to go get ice cream and stuff like that so that's what i spent some of this money on so i'm actually going to leave this money in there and add ten dollars so now i have 15 17 dollars and fun this is pretty exciting. I don't know about any of you, but this to me is exciting because this is all I have to spend. And I actually see a huge, huge progress on me saving money and me having to only spend what I need to spend. And that's it. And that's it is pretty awesome. Because then now I'm not swiping my car and wondering where did this money go. I'm actually seeing where my money is going. Um, I want to get better at this, and one day I will. It just takes more practice, and I'll get down packed with all this. So Florida gets 20. So Florida gets 20. So now we have $90 for Florida. And there we go, guys. I did my cash envelopes. I did my, my bills. I will be coming back with um, my May budget and see um, like what I'm going to be budgeting if I see a progress. Or I'll probably come with another video to see like how much money did I actually save during the month of April. Now, I did kind of... This money belongs to something else. Sorry. Um... I did kind of fail at this and I want to be better at um, tracking all my expenses and I'm gonna get better at that I'm going to see if May I will actually start doing that we already went through this um, this here was already paid for so now I'm gonna go through May and see how much I actually um, for my debt payment plan so half of this is going to be gone. Yes, not half, but, you know, majority of half is going to be gone. Um, yeah, guys, so if you like these type of videos, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And don't forget to share and subscribe. If you have any questions, I'm not a professional, so I'll answer the best way I can. Um, just leave it in the comment section below. Like I said, don't forget to share and subscribe. And I'll be seeing everybody in my next video.